I've been going crazy for my life in these shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Hey, Matt, damn. You got the girls in the chokehold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just tell them we're going to meet out in the back. <laughs> no. no. I love you too. You're very sweet. Yeah. Yes. One of us has to. Damn, you can't bring your girl around. Yeah. Guy that handsome, sorry. Yeah, I've watched this stuff too though. It's like every show, there's always a girl that flirts with him. Damn, he got all the girls going crazy. Not the skeleton. The new sex symbol. And he's funny. Shit. It's like, what am I supposed to fuck you or thumb wrestle? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, both, to, honestly. Uh, I don't, I don't love, I don't love a giant. I don't want to look down and feel like, they're, like, like God left a tag on you. You know what I mean? Yeah, a little match. Like, 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 like I got a return to sender. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, it's a mattress thing. You can't take it off. You just put it in your yeah, mouth and bro, call your bro, dad I, and it say it looks I'm sorry. Like, sometimes it looks like a. <laughs> sometimes it looks like they have a zipper on there. I have to like unveil a real bed. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm not see shaming. It intimidates. Now, what's the difference between him saying talking about the aesthetics of a vagina and a girl saying something about a penis and a girl talking about penis size or guys height? You just said it looked gross to him. Where's the outrage for that? I have thoughts on that, Rife. I've been obsessed with him too because he's adorable and funny and hot. Even more so, I became obsessed with him when he said he was into men or women in their early 40s because that's me. Listen, I'm married. I don't actually want the kid, but it's keeping this sort of fantasy alive. Bigger whoa, issue with what whoa, he said on whoa, the podcast whoa, was that he alienated his fan base. When women fantasize about a man, obviously they want to believe that they could potentially be this man's type. I promised myself I wasn't going to get involved in this Matt Reif situation. I have him blocked. He's been blocked for a while. I didn't even know this was like a thing. As somebody with a touch it's of autism, the special interest in psychology and microexpressions, I learned long ago what he was. He did a roast of a girl at one point that went too far, and you could see the visceral anger and disgust microexpression underneath. Yeah, when your fan base is predominantly all women and you're a comedian, that's even worse. So how do you even Bro. say the right things? Bro, he, ladies, he's a comedian. Do you know what I've comedians watched, do? I watched his shows. He was like, first off, before we start, we can promise that like, we don't take anything too serious while we're in here. Like, Everything I say is a joke. He's a comedian on a, on a podcast, on a comedy podcast. I was on stage. Oh my God, bruh. What do you think comedians do? They poke fun at things. They, yes. That's what they do. They, they're making money is making fun of things. The roast he was asked to do, he meant it. It wasn't a joke. And that was the moment <laughs> he I meant the roast. That right. I'm here to tell you right now. <laughs> we don't care. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right. <laughs> Respectfully, stick to the comedic shows. Whoa. Don't talk about women and their bodies. Someone said to be stressed over a man you never would have had a chance with is wild. First off, the fact that you would even think that I have that low <laughs> standards <laughs> oh, that's is iconic. What? Sorry, but I'm not here for men objectifying women. Hi, Matt. The fact that women on the internet, specifically on TikTok, are trying to cancel Matt Rife right now is fucking hilarious to me. Because do y'all remember about a month ago when we got Matt Rife taking his belt off with one hand? Trending. Hey yo. Yeah. Hey yo. All the women sexualizing him. Oh, the one-handed belt. Take my belt off. That was trending. But now that he has clarified that you're not his type, now you're mad. Well, I don't know why your feelings are hurt now. You didn't have a chance in hell, and now you're just mad that he has clarified that you don't have a chance. You no, know what? Good to be upset. I can't feel bad for everybody. I can't get upset. Yeah. People, because that's what people do online most of the time. Yep. And it's like, that's their entire personalities. They go, let's it, cancel this. This is not okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. Your life yeah. sounds absolutely miserable. You're yeah. so worried about sounds all terrible. the wrong going on in the world. You're not even enjoying yourself. Right. Well, that's loyalty. <laughs> it sounds like if he should be f***ing anybody, he should be the mother of his child. No? Am I crazy for this one? It kind of sounds like you breaking up a family. <laughs> his house with his wife and his baby <laughs> the audacity of this man to live happily ever after <laughs> what's the problem <laughs> he doesn't with her no he said he don't her yes he's lying <laughs> that's what we call a blatant lie <laughs> I mean, maybe he should be. He shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Four months. Four months. That's tough. 
That's that. This, you know what? This is a little too early to be having this many red flags, to be honest. Like this big of a problem this early on in the relationship, it, it might not work out. So I, my best advice would be to either I'd say break up with them or also get pregnant. Play this bitch's game, okay? Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I seem frustrated. A gift maybe help. Maybe after the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This guy just has the riz like that. I saw one of his shows once at the Laugh Factory. It was him really? and then a bunch of other people. Is he good? Man, he was funny. They were all funny. And it's just very hypocritical how he makes a joker. Yeah, I don't like women with vaginas that look like this. And then the entire internet breaks. I feel like it's because they see him as a sex symbol. Yeah. And it's like, there's so many comedians that say way worse things. Oh my God, yeah. So they're, not, like, they're not sexualized. Like They're not sexualized, so it's like, well, I don't care. And it's like, that's just what it is. If I was mad, I, I wouldn't know if they're coming to my show because I look attractive. Yep. Or if they think I'm funny. Are you laughing because it's like you just want to me or you're laughing? Right, because if you're attracted to someone, you'll probably laugh at whatever they do. <laughs> His jokes are funnier because he looks it's, good. That's what I'm saying. Do you think he'd be as funny without the looks? I mean, I guess you went to his show, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's just a funny guy. But I think the looks is just, uh, you can be a great singer, but when you look good too, oh, yeah, you get more yeah, fans. You're right, you're right. But yeah, I think what they illustrated was completely correct was all the fantasy that these girls had in their head. He said, I don't like girls with fat feet. And then the girls with the fat feet are like, what the fuck? Fuck you, man. Get away! Sorry, you don't like you. And imagine if he was like 5'6", though, and attractive, then they would've came out and you're short too. Like, yeah. oh my God. They yeah. would've came after his height. And it's popular nowadays to nitpick at other people that are succeeding or whatever, you know, so. You gotta get your TikTok views, you gotta get your duets going. Like, mm -hmm. we've said a handful of things on this channel, and we're not even comedian. And what are we supposed to do? Everyone's feelings have to be just catered to, and you can't like, say You can't anything. do that, though, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. you, you just can't, that's something you can't do. People, when they come up to us, they always say like, I appreciate you you guys like keeping it a buck and like speaking your mind you guys say stuff that other people don't say like yeah i'm okay with people disagreeing with some of the stuff i would say as long as i'm able to speak my mind and be true to who i am and what i believe mm -hmm. you're just keeping it a hundred sorry you guys would hate if we were sitting here fake every video <laughs> right yeah people will complain about something that, that you said that they didn't like but would hate it if you were a robot and said nothing at all they said nothing ah, this sucks they just simply wouldn't even watch you yep. yeah because him saying that, that about the woman that's not going to take away from his career and don't make it do that I, either. I think it made him right. more popular. They oh, literally yeah. helping him because now we've seen this and spreading him even more. Damn it, now he's going to take all the girls. Yeah. No, he's got, he's got, you need to check your girls to make sure they're not following Matt right. Check what if your girl. girl's like, I want to go to a comedy show. Who, who are you trying to watch? Um, oh, It's a but laugh actor, a bunch of it's people. It's a white guy. It's not that Matt Rife guy from TikTok, is it? You know, I'm happy that God didn't make me look like this. I don't think I could handle it. I think it would lead Bro, to my demise. He's got Mills giving him free gifts. He's got every girl throwing him at him. Oh man, that's a... What are you doing after your comedy show when every girl wants to smash you? What do you do? Man, I'd have... <laughs> I can't even say Because he has a conventionally attractive sort of look. Like his style don't even gotta be good. He don't even gotta wear the best clothes. Like All the clothes are good in him. Yeah, when you, when you look good, you look good in anything. Bro, if I put that on, they'd be like, what the, why'd you wear that to your show, bro? <laughs> But there has to be, like, we're looking at the upsides, but like, there's gotta be inevitable downsides, like we're witnessing right now with him getting canceled. But yeah, it's probably the same thing as like a girl that's super attractive and every guy wants them. It's what are the quality of these women that want him? Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh fuck. But and then it, it can get annoying. And then, yeah, I could see there's definitely downsides and dark sides to this that we don't even understand. He's almost like too perfectly looking. <laughs> yeah. I'd be kind of scared. Like, like I, he couldn't be friends with him. I, I can't, <laughs> I, I'm trying to envision me hanging out with this guy and I, I can't. <laughs> He seemed like AI generated or something. Try going on a double date with you oh, and your no, girl. No, 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 you know, he's sitting there like, yeah, I'm better. <laughs> like in his head, like he's like, yeah, I look better than everyone, built better, funnier than everyone. Then he could snatch a girl at any moment. All right, we're glazing him. <laughs> Bye.